Hello and welcome back from the short break we just had. Uh, the next topic is called wireless networks and wireless network hacking. So we're gonna start off with two basic things. One is uh, SSID hiding and the second one is uh, MAC filtering. Uh, and we're gonna prove that these techniques cannot be used to prevent attackers uh, from accessing your wireless network. So before we just start up, I would like to ask all the people who are connected uh, via the online video stream that uh, be aware of what you're doing and don't mess around with your real internet connection because then you will lose us and will not be able to follow the presentation or this training. So just use a different wireless access point, not, your, not the one you're using to connect to the internet or just set up a live for, lab for this and then you will be able to follow up, follow us. So, other people who are here in the room, please just open up uh, our Backtrack 4 boxes. Uh, I am connected via VNC here, and you, you should be connected too, to your box. So first up, uh, we'll just uh, look around in Backtrack what kind of uh, network interfaces we have. And to do that, we're gonna use the ifconfig command without any switches, so just type in ifconfig and then hit enter. And as you can see, our wireless network adapter is not listed in this uh, list. So we have to put it up, as it's called in Linux. To do that, we're going to use ifconfig, but now we're going to add some more switches to the command, which is vlan0 and up. So use this command, ifconfig vlan0 up, and hit enter. And if I use ifconfig again, and I encourage you to do the same with, with me. And you now you can see that my wireless LAN adapter is up and running here. Okay, so next up, uh, I would like to scan for some wireless networks to find uh, which one I, I can connect to. So to do that, I will use the IV list command. And I have to specify only one uh, switch to it, and that is scan. But I will just give you gives you too much output, so to filter out the output, uh, we will use grab. So just pipe in grab, and we are curious about the name of the network, also known as the SSID of the network. So we just gonna give grab the SSID string to look for, and then hit enter, and it starts scanning. And once it's done, you will see we have a lot of. Uh, wireless networks around here, but here is our access point, the Ethical Hacking AP access point. Of course, people who are connected uh, online, your access point name will not necessarily be Ethical Hacking AP, it doesn't really matter what the name is, just be aware that what, which is your access point, which uh, against which access point are you working, and uh, always change the Ethical Hacking AP name in, in the next commands to your access point's name, so that will uh, then it will work. Everything will work we're doing. So, okay, next up I would like to connect to this access point, which you can do in Linux by using the ivconfig tool. So I will just type in ivconfig, and then uh, we, I have to specify the name of my uh, wireless LAN adapter, which is wireless LAN 0, so VLAN 0. And next is SSID, and I'm going to put in ethical hacking AP. As you can see, I enclose it in quotes because the name contains a space and uh, without the quotes it just wouldn't work. So once you have typed in this command, hit enter. And it seems nothing happened, no error messages popped up, but if I look into the log, which could be achieved by using the D message uh, command, and I will pipe again, now I'm going to pipe in tail, to D message because uh, D message is a long, long log, and I would I'm only curious about the last ten lines, and tail will uh, give me the last ten lines. So just type in the command as you can see on the screen and hit enter. And as you can see, I have authentication timed out messages, which uh, indicate that that something wrong with there is something wrong with the access point. Probably there is MAC address filtering is in place. So now I would like to get around this MAC address filtering, and how can I do that? Well, first of all, I have to put my wireless LAN card into monitor mode. Monitor mode is really useful because it just uh, 
in, in monitor mode, your wireless LAN card will just transfer all the frames it can see in the air directly to the kernel for further uh, work. And this is really useful for debugging and, and uh, using wireless networks in uh, advanced uh, technique with advanced techniques because you have to well, because with monitor mode you can see everything that goes through the air so it just it just easier to do next uh, and we're gonna put our wireless land adapter into monitor mode to do that we have to uh, put it down first so use if config again with VLAN 0 and then say down and hit enter no output shown but if I say I have config just check you can see that it is not up anymore next command is going to be the airman minus ng tool which is uh, part of the aircraft uh, tool set and it could be used uh, to put any wireless cards into monitor mode so just use airman minus ng start and then uh, the name of the interface which is vlan0 as you can see this is my command and now hitting enter and as you see in the output monitor mode is enabled on the interface man0 so in the next step we're going to use man0 because that just that is the interface monitor mode is enabled on so we could use ivlist to scan again but it is not really useful when you're in monitor mode because uh, it only works in manage mode so we're going to use a different tool called aerodump Aerodump minus ng, which is also the part of the aircraft minus ng suit. So use Aerodump minus ng and just give it one uh, command or one switch, which is the name of the interface we're going to use. In this case, it's Aerodump minus ng man0. And hit enter. And as you can see, it will look around for different uh, access points and it found many of them. And here is our ethical hacking AP access point. But this is just too much information, so I would like to just filter some of it. To do that, hit Control C, and we're gonna add some more switches to Aerodam. First switch is gonna be minus C, which will specify which channel we would like to listen on. As you can see, the ethical hacking AP, which it could be found right here, is on channel one. So I would just say minus C channel one. Of course, I don't have to tell you, but online people, your access point might be on a totally different channel, totally different name. Just be aware of it and change the command you're using accordingly. So minus C1 in my case, and in the case of the people who are sitting in the room. And uh, I will also add one more filter, which is going to filter according to BSSID. So which, this could be enabled by minus minus BSSID. And I will just copy and paste the BSSID of the ethical hacking AP. That will make uh, Aerodump only look for the packages that are coming from or, or being transferred through this access point and not the other ones. So highlight it, right click and copy, and paste it, which could be done by right click and paste, but also by hitting shift insert. So here is the total common command I would like to use to start uh, looking around and hitting enter and as you can see here we have uh, here we here is our access point but the interesting part comes below this which is right here you can see VSSID and you can see here uh, stations these stations are actually associated to this access point in our case this means that these stations are actually added to the MAC address filtering list and they are allowed to connect. So what we would like to do is uh, use their MAC address as our own, so spoof the MAC address of our computer and then the access point will allow us to connect. To do that I will hit Ctrl C again and I will just choose a, a MAC address from this list. I know that this DC is actually my iPhone's MAC address and I know it's allowed so I will just copy but you can use whichever uh, access whichever station you would like people who are watching us online just connect any device to the uh, to the access point and just make some traffic going on like start pinging an address or something so aerodump will find you easily 
and then just use the MAC address from uh, from that uh, station you connected. So copying. To change MAC addresses, we have to put our uh, adapters down again. Now we're going to use Airman minus ng to, to put down first monitor adapter or interface, which is MAN0. So Airman minus ng stop MAN0, hitting enter. And next one is going to be VLAN0, hitting enter again. And just to make sure, I will put it down with ifconfig2, VLAN0 down. So just follow me. If, if, I hope it wasn't too, too fast for you, but you can see the last three commands on the screen. So just uh, keep typing. And uh, I have config VLAN0 down. I will hit enter too. And now we're going to use a pretty self explanatory tool. It's called MacChanger. So Mac changer, and then we have to specify only one switch, which is minus minus Mac, and then enter the name. I mean, enter the Mac address we would like to use. So I'm just gonna say Shift Insert because I already copied the Mac address of the iPhone, and I hope uh, other people did it did it too. Now uh, we have to specify one more thing, which is the name of the interface. In this case, it's VLAN zero. So hit Enter. And as you can see, it just faked our MAC address to the iPhone's MAC address. And if I look in ifconfig, oh, I can't see mine. Why? Because it's put down. So I would just say ifconfig VLAN0 up. And please follow my lead. And now if I look in ifconfig, now I can see that the hardware address or the physical address of my wireless LAN card is actually uh, spoofed to the iPhone's MAC address. So what I would like to do is just use the same command I used at the beginning, which is ivconfig, uh, VLAN0, and ASSID, and ethical hacking AP in quotes. This is the command we used to connect, trying to connect to the access point, and now we're going to try it for real. So hit enter. Seems nothing happened, but if we look in the message and uh, giving it the tail uh, pipe 2 and hitting enter as you can see I am associated with the access point and if I say IV config now I can see that uh, I have I am uh, associated to the access point because the MAC address is here if I wouldn't associate it it would just say instead of the MAC address of the access point not associated so that's how you do uh, and that's how you get around MAC address filtering. As you can see, once a valid client is connected to the access point, there is pretty much no, uh, nothing that can stop an attacker accessing your network. Okay, you're saying that's fine. You can find a MAC address of a client on Backtrack, but how you do it once you would like to use uh, connect to the access point on Windows? I just went to Google and entered uh, changing MAC address on Windows. And I came up with the first tool I found. It is here. It's called SMAC. So there is many different tools for that on Windows too. It's not not really that that a big deal. So once you find a valid MAC address, you can connect to uh, an access point with MAC address filtering allowed. So that was MAC address filtering. And thank you for uh, thank you for watching and being with me. And in the next uh, video, we're gonna talk about how to get around SSID hiding. Thank you very much and goodbye.